All right, so in our last videos, we worked on full guard sweeps where we end up in the mount, okay? So once we get to the mount, what do we do from there? All right, so if my partner's on their back and I hit my mount position, first thing I'm gonna look to do is establish my control, okay? I don't wanna be sitting up here because if he bumps me, I'm gonna be getting launched. So I like to underhook the head, I grip high into the shoulder, and I base out wide. I'm using my shoulder for a little extra shoulder pressure, and I'm basing out wide. Okay, now that's just beginning control. All right, I'm gonna go through a couple of X chokes that will lead us into that kind of position. So the first one is I'm gonna go four fingers in. So I'm gonna use my left hand, open up the collar, four fingers in deep, and I'm looking to get almost behind by the, by the tag of the gi, okay? From there, my head again goes to the floor. So I'm making sure that I have a good base. My heels are curling into his hips so I can pull myself up if I need to, okay? Now, from here, I'm gonna use my legs, lift my body, circle over, and there's a nice little like uh, ledge of fabric on his shoulder. So what I'm gonna do is give him a karate chop, the only time it's okay to do karate. Karate chop to the neck, and when I grab, I bend my wrist to grip deep into the collar. So I chop, turn, and grip. Now once I'm here, my knuckles stay to the floor. All that's gonna happen is again, I'm using my heels to stay up. I'm gonna change direction and then I tighten my grip as I drop my head towards the floor. Okay, so once more, I've got four fingers in, nice and deep, head down. Come all the way over, chop, grip. And now we're gonna drop down towards the side for our X choke. The second version of this, it's the same choke, but I switch my grip, so I'm going thumb in. So I feed, thumb deep. If I end up in my position here and I go thumb in, then I can just circle over and I'm already in my one position, okay? So again, we're here. I'm pulling myself up with my legs, chop, grip. And now, from here with X chokes, typically people try and pull, okay? It's a very old school way of doing it, or not old school, just correct way of doing it. I've never had a lot of success with it. So what I use here, is almost like a baseball choke. My arms stay locked, I'm using the weight of my body to apply the choke, instead of me trying to curl and pull like your typical X choke, all right? So those are our first two attacks. Second is an incorrect way the person's gonna try and escape. So he's gonna try and push me off. So brand new white belts, don't ever push your partner off of you because you're gonna get arm bar, all right? What we're gonna do is what I call a surfer arm bar. I'm gonna go over top with one hand, underneath with the other. I'm gonna pop up like I'm popping up on a surfboard, all right? My left leg comes high towards his head, my right leg stays towards his armpit on this side. So as he pushes me up, I pop up, and I keep my hips low, I don't stand up like this, okay? Hips stay low, I turn, kick over, and I'm staying pretty loose on the arm right now, especially when I'm drilling, because I don't wanna fall back with it super tight to my body. And I pinch my knees, and I have my arm bar. So again, a little bit faster, pop up, turn, and kick over. All right, now ideally, our feet do not touch the floor. So as he pushes me, I'm just gonna pop up and circle over for my arm bar. Again, notice I'm keeping slack when I'm training, but ideally, I'm gonna stay tight with that arm. So that's our surfer arm bar. <clears throat> Second one, very basic one, is I'm just looking to grip the tricep. I'm gonna pull him up on his side, and I'm gonna go to S mount, okay? What I'm looking to do here is putting my hand down so I base, but I wanna go underneath his chin. This is super uncomfortable, especially when you start walking your hand back, because you're gonna choke him. If he's, uh, grip your hands together. If he's here and I can't pull that arm free, all right, I'm gonna attack his neck. He's gonna have to start doing something about this, all right, or else he's gonna choke himself. So as soon as he grabs, I kick over, pinch the knees, and I finish my arm. One more time. I'm here, I'm coming under, grab his tricep, pull him up, and I step into my S mount. Right heel is tight to the belly. If he defends, I come under and I walk back. Step over, pinch, and finish my arm bar. So those are just four basic attacks from the mount position. 